Hi guys and welcome back to my gameplay walkthrough on Hogwarts Legacy. So we are going to Herbology class. Herbology. The H is not silent. I was kind of um just on you again. I have a good feeling about this quest. Wow. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. <laughs> oh, hello. Class? Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Wearing? We do look forward to growing together. <laughs> How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bomb. Then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio! Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> oh yeah, they scream. Now, everyone, Grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. I like her. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Okay, Miss Garlic, but you know what? We gotta do something about her appearance. I know there's a way to... Oh, change appearance. Okay, there you go. You could hide... This clothing will, item will appear invisible. Glove stitch with mysterious designs. Wait. The appearance menu allows you to assign a different visual to pieces of gear you own. The selection includes the basic appearance automatically collected from gear you discover as well as unique appearance okay okay let's do that for all because you know she looks she looks ridiculous <laughs> um, yes this is a legendary item though was I wearing this before? Or that? Oh, this was. Okay, well, we need to cover up with that too. Um, for outfit. What happens if you.
don't show her. Okay, sh then she's in her PJs. We can't do that. Let's take off the scarf because it's summer, I think. Oh, I like the cloak. Oh, it, that, that, that's the scarf. There you go. She looks much better now. Okay, so we have a new quest. Potion class. Let's do that. See what we, okay. We got new resources. We will tend to those other quests later because we want to focus on the main. Oh, oh yeah. Let's see how our um, Dittany is doing. Four minutes. The leaves of this medicinal herb are used in wiggle wind potion. So I feel like we need to... For some reason I have this feeling that we need to wait for this potion... This um, to finish growing and then I have to take with me to my next potion class. In the meantime, maybe we could explore. Oh, was I just here? That's so cool. It, um, it waters itself. She's just enjoying her tea. in her greenhouse. Ooh. Oh wait, so I'm planting... I don't need to wait for it, because I already have. Okay, so I'll pick it up later then. Let's go to our pushing class. Is it far? Do we need to... Okay, yeah, let's go there. to potion class. Oh, what is that? Wow. It's nice. What is that instrument called? from the ministry insane. guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Hmm. Professor Black. I thought we'd all have that on Professor Black's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. 
The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. I think they need it. I used, I might have used a couple when I was fighting the, um, the monsters in. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. The restricted area. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Add pork lump juice. Stir cauldron. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from J. Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. It was skill, sir. It was skill. Okay, so I gotta collect ash window eggs and collect dark mongrel fur. Let me talk to some Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. My Wiganweld potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Yes. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot everything. be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Pavelio. see what else is in here. Those are not in this room. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. Hmm. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Thwooper Feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Okay, fine. I'll get you the Thwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Thwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Can you remind me what you needed again? I was hoping you could get me a Fupa feather from Sharp's Fupa office. Feather. It's the last ingredient I need to complete my potion. Okay. Let's go. Let's go collect it. Keep your potion state. Memorandum. 31st of December, 1875. Oral office. Borg 
Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more ores to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new addition. Further instruction to follow. Okay. What is in this chest? Oh, more coins. Super feather. This is what Weasley wanted. Ashwinder, Ashwinder eggs. Basically, I have everything. Let's see if I'm missing. Anything? Alright, get out of here. Well prepared, which always an always to has a few with potions on hand. Here's the fupa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the Dibney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Uh... Brew potions from unlock recipes at the potion station. Twenty-three seconds. Okay. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Get it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Mel. Great. Dragon Dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Now we're gonna get caught. What now, Mr. Weasley? You better not. Sorry, die. Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Oh. Is it us points? Done? Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His oh, accomplice no. will answer to me as well. We're gonna get in trouble. Okay. Return to Professor Sharp. I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. <laughs> Weasley brew chaos. <laughs> he found that he already knows. Damn, what am I supposed to do? I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I was gonna deny it. I shall it. assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student i'm glad i was able to meet your expectations a rare occurrence and you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet in addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves pay particular attention in herbology the plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh. Wait, I want to talk to you. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganwell potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganwell potion on their first try. Well done. Professor 
Professor Sharp didn't seem as impressed as you are. Don't take it personally. Professor Sharp wouldn't be impressed by a troll reciting the tales of Beetle the Bard backwards. <laughs> and in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation, is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. That level is locked. Ugh, oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Okay. Revelio. So, what is next? So our next, our next um, quest is meet with Natty. to go meet with Natty, my new best friend, my bestie. Oh, she's far. 